Kolka, one of imperceptible glaciers of Caucasian mountains on a Jamaraho slope, has made itself world famous by causing major ecological accidents. The glacier's catastrophic descents in North Ossetia repeat regularly every 100-150 years. It has led to regarding Karmadan Valley not only in geographical, but also in a memorial context. Folk songs and legends mention seven settlements, seven ginals, that were completely destroyed by Kolka in the middle of 18th century. The most recent descent in 2002 resulted in death of 125 people. Over the course of time, there were thousands of casualties caused by Kolka. Since September 2002, the glacier grasped close attention of Russian and foreign scientists, who have put forward various hypotheses concerning the reasons of its descent. The hypothesis offered by Professor Berger about dynamic gas explosion convincingly demonstrates geological processes that caused more than 100 million cubic meter of icy and rocky mass to suddenly flow downwards with a speed more than 300 kilometers per hour. Thanks to two rocky spurs at the northern end of the valley, the glacier hasn't escaped from Gorge to Gizel, the settlement with nearly 8,000 inhabitants. Has it not been for the constant imminent threat from Kolka's descents, the valley could become very attractive for residing, recreational and medical treatment purposes. The Ganaldon River boasts plentiful thermal water sources, hiking trails and mountain climbing routes to the highest peaks in Ossetia, Kazbek, Jumarehoch and Shaohoch. Our priority is to neutralize the posing threat while maintaining the natural beauty of this majestic natural phenomenon. The memorial complex of Carmadon Valley represents 125 mirror shields on a steep rock of Carmadon Gates. The boards follow the sun and reflect the sun rays directly onto the glacier's surface. Glacier growth is slowed down and eventually stops completely. The legends originate in the mountains, and according to one of the future legends, 125 mirror shields will represent the numerous victims of the glacier which rise to protect the next generations from the disaster. Once the dangerous lethal burden of Carmadon Valley is eliminated, the gorge will experience the steady rapid infrastructure growth and development. On top of the glacier, 3,000 meters above the sea level, a unique ecological environment will be created by means of directed sunbeams. It will allow to set up mountain climbing camps and resorts near the thermal water sources. Also, at the bottom of the valley, it is planned to erect a museum and a glacier research center for scientists studying the Caucasian mountains. In essence, it's not just a project of a memorial complex, it is a conceptual development of the valley, where the memorial serves as an ice-breaking tool to facilitate the rebirth of the valley and attract tourists, scientists and investors to develop a solid infrastructure for recreational and research purposes. The ancient history tells us about Archimedes' mirrors facilitating the arson of Roman ships. Today, by means of the mirrors on the Earth orbit, the scientists intend to protect our planet from asteroids. Lit by the sun rays, dull and ordinary-looking Kolka will become one of the most attractive glaciers in North Caucasus and a major tourist destination. The glacier will be visible not only from the valley, but from the vast Ossetian plains as well. The unique nature of Karmadon Valley requires creating special construction regulations, stipulating the usage of the mirror boards and reflecting the sun rays towards Kolka. Nowadays, it is critical to understand not only the benefits of the valley development, but also to realize the value of human lives at stake by eliminating the threat of further Kolka descent. This, in turn, reflects the humanitarian nature of the presented project.